Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode, we will discuss how I did the calculation of the results using if with or function and if with and function. And post that, I will discuss how to calculate the bonus using the combination of if and the or function or and function. And finally, I have a sheet for you to practice. To follow along with me, make sure you download this file using the link in the video description. Let's begin. In the recent video, I have requested you to do some calculation and come up with the results. That is, I wanted you to do some analysis using the OR function on this sheet and using the AND function on this sheet. In this sheet, I'm not going to do anything on the analysis part, but yes, I will do something on the results part. I used a combination of IF with OR function to come up with the result, whether this candidate passed or not. Now here is what I did. I already have the function in the cell. Since the if function takes three parts, three arguments, the first one is the logical test. And the second argument is what to return in case if the test is passed. And if the test fails, what to return is the third argument. What I did here is in the testing place where the Excel is doing the logical test, I have placed the OR function. And inside the OR function, what I'm asking it to do is if that is using the OR function, whether B3 is less than 35 or C3 is less than 35 or D3 is less than 35 or E3 is less than 35. If any of this is less than 35, the OR function will succeed. If none of them is less than 35, it will fail. So if this is succeeded, my candidate should fail. In case any of the results here in the science, math, English or social sections is less than 35, the candidate will fail. Similarly, if none of the result is less than 35, the OR function will fail. If it fails, this argument will be returned. Let me press enter and you can see this candidate is passed. To calculate the results for other candidates, I'll simply drag this down using the drag handle and you can see here this candidate is failed because here in math he got 29 here this candidate got 22 in social similarly this one failed here if I simply change his result to 36 he passes let's go to AND function the combination of AND again in AND function I did a slight variation what I am asking if to do is in the logical test I am placing the AND function and doing a test where B3 is greater than 35 C3 is greater than 35 D3 E3 all of them should be greater than 35 in order for this AND function to pass if this succeeds my candidate will be passed the first argument from the if function will be returned and if this test of and fails the second argument that is my candidate will be failed the second argument will be returned now let me press enter and drag this down if you did not do the practice part make sure that you download this worksheet and do the practice because this will help you to retain this learning now let's go to the bonus calculation sheet here in the bonus calculation sheet, we have a criteria that if the candidate is meeting this target of sales, that is $70,000 in each month, that is in Jan, Feb and March, if he is meeting the criteria in all these three months, then he is eligible to get 5% of the total sales amount. I am going to show you whether the candidate is eligible or not. And I will leave the part of calculating the bonus amount for you to practice along with finding the eligibility of the candidate. So let's begin. I am placing my cursor in the cell E3 and now I will start typing in with equal to if press the tab key to complete the function and in the logical area I am going to place the AND function and I want to see whether this one is greater than or equal to because even if it is equal to $70,000 the candidate is eligible for bonus. I will press F4 on the keyboard to lock the selection on that cell. In case if I drag this down it will not move to G2 or G3 and so on. Then I want to test this cell whether this is greater than 
or equal to this one again F4 on the keyboard to lock my selection then finally the March function whether this is greater than or equal to the 70,000 target then I'll press F4 on the keyboard close the AND function and then if the AND result if the logical test succeeds what should be returned I want eligible for bonus in double quotation since it is a text string we have to place it inside the double quotations then if the test fails I will simply return in double quotes not eligible and close the if function bracket and press enter on the keyboard you can see this candidate is not eligible for the bonus since the amount here is 58,543 he met the target in Feb and March but not here let me manually change this one 70 and say he is eligible for bonus to calculate the eligibility of other candidates I'll simply drag this down using the drag handle on the right hand side corner and I can see some of the candidates are eligible and most of them are not eligible for the bonus I hope this is clear to you in case of questions don't hesitate to add a line of comment in the section below and I'll be more than happy to help you with your queries now let's go to bonus calculation practice sheet here I want you to practice I want you to set your own targets here see whether the candidate is eligible for bonus or not try the combination of or function and also the and function calculate the bonus amount you can change the percentage from 5 to 10, 15, you decide. In the next episode, we will discuss some if and some ifs function of Excel. So make sure that you come back and watch that video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and enable the notifications to get the updates from my channel. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. Until next time.